Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon or Rising. It's the weekly reading for October 28th to November 3rd. We have for you this week, Taurus, the beautiful Birthing a New Age Oracle card. We have the Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Wands, the Death Energy, Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Taurus, I just want to say that I absolutely love this reading. I think um, there are huge things on the horizon for you, just bursting with emotional fulfillment and love. You know, nine and ten of cups, what better cards to get. Um, yeah, there's definitely, you are birthing a new age, <laughs> literally, a new age for yourself, a new chapter. Um, we do have a karmic contract, uh, a lesson, um, something to bring to completion first. And this can always be the challenge, you know, that clearing of the slate, that releasing to allow the energetic space for the goodies to come in. So anyway, we'll see how that unfolds in the cards, but I'm just going to start off by reading out your oracle card, birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Our path is exactly the one we don't feel prepared to walk often. Walk it anyway. Often what is being and what is rising feels far bigger than what we could possibly hold. Be a container for it anyway. Often our creations seem to have wild, uncontrollable consciousness of their own. Birth them anyway. Often what is ours to do is the very thing that intimidates us. Be courageous and do it anyway. We are birthing a new age. Right now we are in a transition period between ages. In the process of allowing the old cycle to fall away and the new to rise. Like driving in the fog and trusting the road will appear ahead, we need to release old identities in ways that no longer serve us, using our intuition as a compass. Amen to that, Taurus. That's a beautiful message right there. Ties in absolutely fabulously with your cards. You know, the tarot never lies. You know, you're birthing a new age. You're coming into... You're really coming into yourself, you know, you're really coming into a place where you're aligning with your higher self, um, really calling in that sense of connection with the universe so you can be and flow and manifest what you want for your life. However, you know, when we want to cross into a new age, when we want to cross into that 5D consciousness that we've moved into energetically um, in terms of planetary action this year, we need to release those denser 3D energies, situations, people, experiences that are no longer serving us because that is how we clear the way for the good stuff to come in. So, you know, I'm going to start with this is recent past here, guys, but I think um, potentially, you know, some of you may not have cleared the slate completely yet. You might be in the process of it. Some of you might be in the aftermath. We have the death and the wheel of fortune energy here, which is um, not subtle at all. It's intense, powerful energy. Basically, you know, that wheel of fortune says that it is divine timing for a cycle to end. The wheel wants to turn, it absolutely wants to turn, and it wants to bring in amazing things that have been predestined to happen for you at this time. Not sooner, not later, but now. Um, now that karmic, um, you know, that Wheel of Fortune can indicate that to get to the goodies, you know, to um, allow that wheel to turn, I, I'm just seeing, you know, a wheel that's um, constricted by something, you know, maybe it's got, it's almost like it's got too much mud on the tires, too much, um, you know, something stuck in the bicycle wheel that's stopping it from moving. For that luck to change, we need to remove what that is, that thorn in our side. And that's what the death energy is here to, to help you do. That says there is something that needs to pass in order for the good stuff to come in. Um, the Wheel of Fortune can talk about karmic contracts and life lessons. So some of you might have been in a situation where, you know, there was, it was predestined. But what the Wheel of Fortune is saying is that that is completed now. Um, you don't need to stay in it any longer and keep on experiencing it. Um, it is time for you to release it. You know, for some of you, that could have been a certain type of relationship you needed to experience. Maybe it wasn't, you know, 
too healthy but you know if, if for some reason you did make the agreement to come and experience that but it's time to to release yourself from that now same can be said about a workplace situation it, it's something that has run its course it's done its time and now it's time to release it and what we really are setting up for is your next decade your next chapter because the wheel of fortune is said to have a 10 year energy so, and we can see that it's all beautiful stuff coming in, so we really want to clear the path for it. There's nothing more certain in life, guys, than that cycle of birth, you know, de birth, death, rebirth, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, it is a natural part of life, and we will go through it many times. Sometimes we're in that beautiful um, birth stage where everything's new and exciting. We might have a new lover, we might have a discovered a new passion in life or we might have started a new job that we absolutely love and other times we're in the phase of closing something down and always you know there's a certain amount of of, of pain that can come with that even though we might be excited about the release and excited about what's going to come you know we need to release something to get to that that's what you're being called to do you know that death energy tells you that the timing is now right for you to release this it tells you that um, once you clear the slate, you know, you're going to experience real alchemical um, transformation, you know, spiritual growth, evolution, self-development, emerging as a version better than you were before. It says that there is a, a better reality, a new dawn ready to burst onto your horizon and burst it will, guys. Um, but the key with the death card is that we need to be like the child who looks it in the eye, is not scared of it, and allows it to come in and do its work. You know, this adult here who's been through the cycle a few times is like, oh gosh, not you again. I really don't want to go through this. I'm not ready. I'm just going to hold on, hold on. But, you know, when we hold on to situations that are past the use by date, that's when we stagnate. That's when we hold ourselves energetically stuck. So, you know, the things that want to come in that are higher vibrational frequency can't come in because we're holding ourselves at a lower vibration. To birth a new age, you know, we need to keep rising up. And that's what you're being called to do here, Taurus. So if you can clear that slate, if you can allow that death energy to come in, it's going to be like boom, bang, here comes the goods. Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups. I mean, look at this. this is, these cards both have um, strong divine guidance, as does the Wheel of Fortune. So it's really, the universe is saying, this is your time. Um, this was pre-written, this is destined. So you've just got this hurdle to get over. Um, and it could even be something within yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be physically releasing a person or situation. But once you do, you know, things are going to happen quickly. That Eight of Wands is about fast movement, quick change, swiftness. Um, and the Ace of Cups, of course, is not some kind of offer or opportunity coming in that's going to lead to your ultimate reality of emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, joy, harmony, and love. And my God gosh we see that coming in for you um that eight of wands can also mean a message coming in um quite specifically you know uh, electronic means text mess messengers um messages sorry email telephone call that kind of thing that changes your reality quickly so you know it could be an, an offer of love it could be meeting somebody through you know online dating um, it could be, you know, an offer of a job over the internet, getting headhunted on LinkedIn, something like that. But whatever this opportunity is that's coming in, definitely pursue it because it really has so much potential. You know, the Ace of Cups talks about being fulfilled on all of our five senses. Um, you know, it's a beautiful offer of love that sees you actually just bursting and overflowing with love. So I think you'll feel it immediately. You'll know, oh, yeah, this is a thing I really need to pursue you'll start feeling those feelings of contentment straight away and um yeah i mean this is where it's heading doesn't really get much better than that taurus really doesn't nine and ten of cups so you know we see that progression there from ace to nine to ten um, having the full suite of cups the full suite of emotional satisfaction love joy harmony um, the nine of cups talks about wish fulfillment so I think definitely manifest this week, Taurus. Think about what you truly desire in your life because there's a, 
a great um, possibility of that coming into the material physical realm for you. Um, content, satisfaction, the Ten of Cups, you know, the highest card of living in abundance emotionally, potentially finding a situation where you can have, have it all, the home, the children, the beautiful relationship. But, you know, the, the key is with these cards here is that these people know that they can't just, um, they don't just sit back and wait for all the stuff to come to them. They continuously take the actions that are required to call it in. They keep on, you know, the cycle of, of death and rebirth. They keep clearing the the slate to make the energetic room for this to come in they keep manifesting they keep dreaming they keep desiring so they are like you know feeding the cycle of abundance they're feeding this rainbow and that's like they've discovered the secret for bringing in this joy to them so you know this is this is where you're heading Taurus it's a very beautiful energy but we've just got one mountain to climb, one hurdle to cross before you can truly birth that new age so you can fully move into that higher level of consciousness that I see coming for you. So Taurus, it's a beautiful reading. I wish you all the best with letting that cycle complete uh, because there's only amazing things on the horizon for you. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it won't be for every one of you. I hope it's for a lot of you though because it's a wonderful reading. Um, leave me a comment. I'd love to know how it's playing out in your daily life and I will see you back here next week for another reading.